Tool Tech. Brought to you by Cornwell Tools, the choice of professionals. If you work on cars and trucks very much, you know how important tools are. They literally make all this stuff happen. And one question that we get a lot is what other tools do I need besides the typical wrenches and ratchets and screwdrivers? Well, that's a really good question. And we have shown you some really important tools in the past. So today we're gonna show you some more tools that you really can't live without, starting with chisels and punches. Check it out. Now, contrary to what some people may think, a screwdriver is not a good substitute for a chisel or a punch. All you'll do is destroy the handle or the tip if you use it that way. Now, you need a nice assortment of chisels and punches in different sizes. And you can get a complete kit like this, or you can get them separate, whichever way you want to do it. But these will go a long way to knock loose rusty bolts, to knock off rivet heads, to punch out roll pins. There's all kinds of uses for these. Also, I recommend you get some longer handled punches so you can get into those hard to reach areas. Also, you're gonna need some brass drifts. Now, these are used to knock out things like bearing races, and a softer brass will keep you from damaging a nice machine surface. Finally, you need to invest in a handle to hold your chisels and punches. Now, this will position your hand to the side so you don't crush it if you happen to miss with a hammer. Because everybody misses from time to time. Another basic tool that people tend to overlook is the breaker bar because they just figure they'll make their own by taking a piece of tubing and putting it over the handle of their ratchet. Now, this will work, but it also is known to do other things like give you stitches somewhere or bend the handle of the ratchet or just break the ratchet like this. 230, 240, 250, 260, 260. <laughs> So, having a real breaker bar for those stubborn rusty bolts is pretty important. Now look at these. You can see you can get them in the standard solid end, or you can get them with a pivoting ratcheting end. But either way, they've got the long handles and they're designed for all that crazy torque that you're going to put on them. Now, a breaker bar should never be confused with a torque wrench, even though they kind of look the same. And you're going to be tempted to use this as a breaker bar, don't do it. A torque wrench has got an adjustable end, and they either click or have a dial to tell you when you reach a specific torque. Now, these are designed as a precision measuring device, and you need to treat them as such, so you don't use them as a hammer or as a breaker bar. Now, as you can see, I've got three different torque wrenches here. Got the 3 8 the half inch, and the quarter inch. Now, the 3 8 goes up to about 100 foot-pounds. The half inch drive goes up to about 250 to 300 foot pounds and then the smaller quarter inch drive measures in inch pounds and you really need to have all three. 